The 107-88 win over the Celtics. Steph Curry scored 29 points. He held it down and then some, and so did Draymond on defense. Take a listen. I think everybody played with, with more force. It wasn't just me on Jalen Brown. It was across the board. If I just pick up my force and no one else does, it doesn't work. You know, so that's a total team effort. Uh, guys being ready to help when help is needed. Um, and, and guys taking on the challenge at the point of attack. So, uh, yes, I wanted to come out and be more aggressive on that side. Um, and I think I did a good job of that. But that's a, that's a full team effort. It doesn't just work because of one guy. Our offense is always a lot of Steph. It all starts um, with Steph. Whether, you know, when KD was here, our offense still started with Steph. And, you know, that's, that's the way it's going to be. I mean, the Warriors in the third quarter, dangerous. Had their best quarter in NBA Finals history last night, and it happened in the third. Again, outscoring Boston by 21 points and doubled up the season shooting percentage. Curry had 14. He scored as many points as the Celtics did. S.A., I'll start with you. Do you think too much is being put on Steph Curry's shoulders right now? Um, offensively, I do think that is the case. It was nice to see Jordan Poole uh, get his get his game going, no doubt about that. But Klay Thompson shooting 4 of 19 from the field, um, I, I don't like that at all. I think we got to pay attention to the fact that this is who they're going against. They're going against an elite defensive team that has some offensive firepower of its own. This game was a two-point game going into the third quarter. We understand, and somehow inexplicably, the Boston Celtics continue to struggle in the third quarter, which is the one blemish on the otherwise illustrious performance of Coach Ime Udoka this season. But nevertheless, when you take into consideration what Steph Curry is being asked to do, yeah, you got him last night. You couldn't close the deal in game one. This series is tied 1-1 going back to Boston. When I think about the Golden State Warriors winning this series in seven games, which I picked them to do, I'm thinking about the fact that both Jordan Poole um, and Steph Curry or Klay Thompson and Steph Curry get it going. It can't be Steph Curry and such a huge discrepancy between Curry and the rest of the guys in order, on the offensive end of the floor in order to win this series. I think you're going to need at least one other individual to step up in order to win four games in this particular series. Stephen A., we, we talk about this all the time with the great Warriors teams and how their role players star in their roles. And, and I thought in game one, Otto Porter Jr. was great. Iggy had a couple of nice moments. Kevon Looney has been uh, great on the offensive boards. Jordan Poole, of course, with a nice game two bounce back game. But the idea that too much is being put on Steph Curry, I, I, I disagree with that just because we are talking about one of the top 10 or 12 best players in the world ever. We're talking about a guy who's on his second or third max contract. Uh, he, you know, this is who he is. The Warriors system is Steph Curry. Steph Curry is their system. And so, so much that happens on offense for them is based upon him in pick and rolls, his movement off the ball. They got a couple layups just on uh, miscommunication last night because they were so concerned with Steph Curry. Going forward in this series, the adjustment the Celtics are going to have to choose about, you know, have to make a decision on is how they're guarding Steph Curry in pick and rolls. They primarily play drop coverage. Through three quarters of game one, the, the uh, Warriors scored about 1.9 points per possession on those possessions. Last night in the third quarter specifically, when he got it going, that was drop coverage in those pick and rolls. So if they decide to potentially blitz, if they decide to sort of have the, the big up in that coverage, then all of a sudden you get the backside four-on-three action that the Warriors are so good at. And that's where I think you can see more counting stats from some of their role players. But to your point about Klay Thompson, he ha absolutely has to be better throughout this series if they're going to win this series. Like, he's got to be that guy that scores efficiently, gives you 20 to 22 points a game, and he's really struggling. And gives some of that credit to the Celtics' defense. I think, you know, primarily Jalen Brown in game one, but throughout game two as well, they are doing a great job of contesting his shots. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.